Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mary Chris. Otherwise, welcome back. Today, I welcome you for another unboxing. This is actually a Bluetooth speaker. So let's go ahead and open this up. So, as I have seen from other unboxings, they really do come with this um, paper bag. It's a, it says, let's rock and road. Really neat, huh? Alright, so it's a beautiful paper bag. Let's just set this aside. And here, it comes with its own dust bag. Um, this speaker is actually promoting you to use it on the go. I would say... Um, this entire packaging alone is a big plus on their promoting portability you know they're they're like um, encouraging you to really um, bring it with you so a dust bag is really very handy especially because this is electronics and dust can really get inside so might as well protect it this is really cute I love all things vintage so the design is very awesome it comes in a this is a hard plastic actually this is not steel the covering um, but if you look at it it's like a, a vintage luggage very very nice i love things like this and it's um i'm not sure if you see it's like a gray with a tint of green at the back it says muzen otr metal portable FM radio and Bluetooth speaker that's the only that's the other thing that I wanted about this is because it also has FM radio capability and it says here the specs so that's giving it a good look this case it comes with a gold hardware for this is a like a faux leather strap and it has a tag it says on the road beautiful huh I might be saving this tag put this in my journal just uh, for memory keeping that I got this radio slash speaker today cute so cute okay let's open this up Ta-da! oh my god very very beautiful so at the top here you have a felt covering these extra accessories we have let's take a look so there is like a garterized band in here holding these items together this is a card oh it says Greenwich Village Woodstock on road Hippie Hill Monument Valley and the Muzan logo at the back and this is another card it says Muzen keep radio on oh this is like the brochure so they have different versions of this speaker which is so cool look at that it's the most antique one going old school and this is the one that I got this is the OTR retro bluetooth speaker the founder of Muzen very nice Muzen tube king and tube queen <laughs> it's so cute and the Muzen original very nice and stickers who doesn't love stickers <laughs> very very cool I might be putting some of these stickers on the luggage not sure yet but let's move on so I'm just gonna put this back where it belongs and cover it back with this belt. Oh no, it's falling back. Okay, for the real meat of this unboxing, there is a garterized trap here that's holding down the speaker. Let's just move this aside. And before we check the speaker out, let's see what's in here. Let's 
just a cover and another sheet here oh oh okay there's an envelope behind the foam it's a thank you note in the shape of the speaker very cute this is the user manual mm -hmm. identifies all of the packing list which are er everything inside this luggage the diagram of the speaker this is a warranty card oh it's a very cool vintage card nice love it it's a postal card so they they have added postal cards too <clears throat> neat really neat and thoughtful i might say okay let's put this back here and let's go on with the accessories there is an accessory antenna uh, it came a little bit i don't know it's a um, it, it looks a little bit rusty or I don't know if it's part of the effect but the rest of the antenna is looking fine and there's a cable here this is the charging cable you can see from uh, the presentation that they they put much thought into this except this clipping is weird like look at this what how does it look like that oh, okay just distorted uh, but it's great like the cord itself is not just plastic like it's wrapped in um, I don't know this might feel like nylon so the cord is wrapped in nylon and it's in brown matching the overall vintage feel and look and the snap is in like faux leather this holds the cord together and there is another cable I think this one's for the aux so it's in micro USB and the aux input here. And lastly, what is this? Oh, oh, this is great. This is, I've seen this before from the other reviews. This is like the cover for the face of the speaker. So if you wanted to protect it, you can bring this with you and you go out. See? this speaker really encourages you to go out and about and use it wherever you go so it's really encouraging you to emphasize that portability and use it as so so let's put everything in the box for now um, except for this one and the last item we haven't looked at is this one this is the extra strap if you wanted to carry it outside like a crossbody style you can clip the sides here so again you see that there are a lot of accessories here there's a cover for the face to protect the knobs and the little bits here and you can see that it came with this very cute um, faux leather vintage style carrying enclosure for the speaker uh, but let's remove this for now and let's take a look at the entire speaker itself that's nice let's put this aside wow this is hefty like this is very heavy solid heavy i'd say it's even heavier than my phone i apologize for the change in the lighting i had to close all the rooms and the windows so i'm losing the natural light because unfortunately there's an extremely noisy repair that's happening outside and um, i'm trying my best to cut down the noise so let's try the bluetooth function and when we turn the knob to the first um, notch here which is the uh, bluetooth it will light up white 
but let me tell you a word of caution so if you're getting this for the first time and you're trying out bluetooth immediately don't so first you need to have it charged at least a substantial amount before it can turn on i thought at first that it was broken and i was so ready to return it to the seller but then i had it charged first so please don't be like me charge it first before you try on the bluetooth so now that it's lighting up white let's go ahead and test it out on my ipad and you can see automatically it shows up it says here muzen otr metal and we will connect to that and it's not connected Wow. You hear that sound? So I'm just using my iPad to control the volume rocker down because this thing is already in max. It can get really loud. Let's try something else. Let's find something instrumental. Wow. It it can get really loud and it has substantial bass as you can hear i've tried with um, a country sound where there's much voice and this one has more instrumental but you can still hear the sound of voice i think even the smallest sounds are heard quite nicely but let me tell you, I'm not an audiophile. I just love to listen to music and I love a lot of genres. But I think this is going to be great for most genres and also especially for audiobooks. The solid sound is really great. I'm pretty sure this will be great for um, listening to audiobooks. Like, let's try one for that matter. Um, some audiobooks have sound effects and um, it's really great to listen very closely especially when uh, there are like conversations happening and some sound effects do at the same time Originals presents impact winter a gothic tale of darkness and light by travis beecham an anonymous content this is an emergency broadcast all programming has been temporarily suspended please remain calm Further information will be provided shortly. See, the sound is very crisp. You can see your you can hear the effects. You can hear the voice very clearly. They're like speaking in whispers, but the sound is still very clear and audible. But on the other hand, this one's very small, so the sounds like spread out too thin, and it doesn't have enough bass, so you can't hear the depth of the sound as well. So. This one is just perfect, perfect for anything, for music, for your audible books, for um, podcasts and whatnot, and just listening to all around music. I will not try this on with a rock or hard metal music because I do not appreciate too much noise and I care enough for, for just the music and the melody of sounds. So that is for the sound quality. So I'm not sure how to test the aux, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. There is a cable that's included with this, and this is that. And I know that the uh, MacBook Pro that I have still has this um, um, 
3.5 millimeter jack so I think that's gonna work and let's try that out but this one will require the uh, mini micro USB sorry micro USB to be inserted at the back and okay so what this will do is if you ever wanted to use this speaker as um, uh, an external speaker connected to your device then you can use the 3.5 millimeter jack and connect it to this one so I'm just gonna open YouTube and play something of my own and see how we can hear that so this is the sound that's playing from my YouTube channel so just showing you that I don't think I like the sound that's coming from the aux. Do you? So, um, and this is already in max. I'm gonna try another video. Mm, maybe it's just my recording, so. So this is another video playing. I don't really like the sound of the aux. I think that um, maybe there's something missing or I don't know the, the cable maybe is not that good so I don't appreciate the quality of the sound that I hear from it. I'm not keen on using the aux feature anyway. I will be putting aside the cable because that's not really what I would want to use this speaker for. I don't know about you if I think you're gonna be using um, an external speaker for playing your music. Maybe you're a musician or a guitarist or I don't know, a composer. Then you should go for a different kind of Bluetooth speaker, not this one. So now let's go ahead and test the FM. Um, let's try it's kind of loud really so it says from the manual that the um, yeah you see it turns green when it's the best signal so I'm just gonna move the dial up That's beautiful. So you can see that all of the features are working just fine. Um, the least one that I like is the aux. But probably the one that I will enjoy best is the Bluetooth one. And um, I really enjoy the sound quality of this. The build quality is also awesome because it is very hefty um, and it has bass, it has enough treble and you can see that there is depth in the sound. You can hear the voice as well as sound effects from the background and it's really great. So it does not hurt my ears like most of the sounds coming from this is very pleasing, very soothing. There's not much noise to hear from, from this one so I guess if you're just playing good music that you love all the time then there's not gonna be a problem. So Overall. final thoughts on this speaker, I think I'm going to be giving it a 5 out of 5 but do take note that I'm not an audiophile and I'm using this only for my everyday consumption of sounds from music, podcasts, audible books and listening to whatnot every day and this is going to be just sitting on my desk but of course I'm going to be taking it with me on on the road trips if I'm going on a long ride or maybe some hiking I can still um, consume music from the fm radio so that's really cool but i do not encourage you to bring this little guy on a beach trip simply because it is not made to be waterproof and humidity might mess up your electronic system so let's not put this little guy to waste that soon so in order for you to extend the life of your cute bluetooth speaker just uh, keep it away from water and humidity so that is it for now. If you have any questions about this beautiful little guy, 
just shoot me a question down below and I'll be sure to take a look at it and respond back to you as soon as I can. And thank you everyone for sticking it with me. I'm very happy that you are here. So as always, stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone.